The festival opens on January 6th and runs Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for the next two weeks. Fifteen directors, twelve playwrights, and dozens of actors have come together to put on the festival, share their original performances, and make new friends. So welcome and join us. I want to be just you. And this is your third annual Beijing International Short Play Festival. So what do you feel is most exciting this year about the plays presented? What's exciting for me is the chance to have even more plays than we've ever had before. Every year it gets bigger. The first year we only had six plays. The second year we had nine, uh, actually eight in one musical. And this year we have 14 plays, one rock concert play, and two musicals. Wow. So it's it's huge and although that's scary and daunting and frustrating at times uh, the reward is what you saw tonight you know the audience has a great time the actors have a great time and we all come out of it you know so happy and it's something to keep us warm on a cold winter's night <laughs> oh, I mean actually I really enjoyed this last one I thought it was like a sort of um, insane cabaret at the yes. beginning was really I wasn't expecting that at all um, I really have to say though I really really enjoyed um, Charles Atlas I forget mm -hmm. the full title yes. I thought that all the performances were good I thought it was really interesting staging and I'm, I'm actually I'm really impressed tonight with um, how imaginative like people have been considering that they're not professionals I think most of the people involved are sort of workshoppers and um, it's been it's been really great my name is Ali Ahmed I'm uh, 15 years old and uh, I wrote a play um, in this festival called the chameleon I was uh, just looking through the news uh, to, the, to a magazine and I found out that there they were asking for playwrights and uh, I, I was very excited about that and I immediately uh, went to the internet and call and emailed them if I could uh, have opportunity and when they said okay I was very excited and uh, quickly wrote the play in a few days here we are with Holly Naylor a uh, regular guest of Beijing Radio and Talkbox, as well as leading thespian in the Beijing performing arts scene. Mm, I'm not so sure about leading, but you know, definitely an actress around town a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so Holly has had uh, many years of experience in the Beijing performing arts scene. Yes. And what have you uh, valued most about the Beijing performing arts scene over all your years? You know, it's been a really great way to meet people over time. I've really enjoyed all the different friends I've made and of all ages from all different countries and all backgrounds. So for me, it's been a great way to, to make new friends, which I really appreciate. But they seem to understand me when I talk back. <laughs> we, have, we have made many excursions. Let's go, make excursions. <laughs> <laughs> and we have seen most of the world. Almost all of it, I think. And so, I am the first traveler and the only one. <laughs>